everyone to another edition of Miles Today. In this issue, we'll learn about the recent merger with Technicon. A new Alka-Seltzer makes its debut, and we'll meet the 1988 Corporate Science and Technology Award winners. We begin with Technicon. Technicon is located in Terrytown, New York, which is 20 miles north of New York City. Terrytown is a small village surrounded by lakes and green mountains and is rich in history of the Revolutionary War. Not far away is the famous Military Academy of West Point. Technicon brings a tradition of quality and technological innovation to Miles. Revenues alone are around $500 million a year. Today, Technicon is a multinational company with two-thirds of its revenues generated outside North America. Its international division is based in Saint-Denis, France. Technicon's products include automated blood testing analyzers and related reagents and consumables. Technicon markets its products worldwide to the clinical laboratory particularly those of large and medium-sized hospitals and high-volume reference laboratories. Technicon's strength in the clinical laboratory is concentrated in three important areas. Clinical chemistry, hematology, and immunodiagnostics. The merging of Miles and Technicon creates a powerful new force in the marketplace, the Diagnostics Business Group the second largest diagnostics company in the world. We now have representation in 69% of the world diagnostics market, as opposed to just 16% before. That's a four-fold increase. We are active in a broader array of market areas, thus less vulnerable to competition. And with our combined research and development capabilities, we have a greater potential to bring new technology to the marketplace. Technicon was founded in 1939. It was a humble beginning with a total number of employees of only three, among them the founder, Edwin C. Weisskopf. Their first product was called the Auto Technicon. This was a tissue processing instrument that introduced automation to the histology laboratory, accomplishing overnight what had been a tedious manual procedure taking three or four days. By 1957, Technicon was a firmly established company with a reputation for innovation. That year, they introduced the Technicon Auto Analyzer. Based on the now famous continuous flow technology, the Auto Analyzer literally revolutionized the clinical chemistry laboratory. And today, Technicon continues that pioneering spirit. The Technicon Chem 1 employs a unique technology called capsule chemistry for rapid, random access testing. It is perhaps the most advanced chemistry analyzer available today. The SMAC system, this model, the SMAC-3, is the modern, updated version of Technicon's world-famous laboratory workhorse, introduced in 1972. The RAXT is part of Technicon's RA, or Random Access Family. These systems provide a range of small and medium analyzers for smaller laboratories. And the highly successful H1 system, which processes all routine hematology tests at one workstation, automatically, quickly. Today, Technicon continues on the leading edge of technology. Two new major chemistry systems exemplify this. The DAX series provides walk-away testing for larger laboratories. And the Axon system provides comprehensive, cost-effective testing for medium to large volume laboratories. In 1989, Technicon celebrated its 50th anniversary. That's a half century of leadership in the clinical laboratory. Now, as part of the Diagnostics Business Group, this pace-setting spirit of innovation and commitment to better healthcare will meet the challenges of the future. Alka-Seltzer was first introduced way back in 1931, and on July 3rd of this year, the Consumer Healthcare Division added yet another member to this already famous family. The new product is called Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula, 
It has 75% less sodium, a non-aspirin pain reliever, a new lemony citrus taste, and will still provide the same fast, effective relief that Alka-Seltzer has always been known for. Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula was launched to overcome historical consumer barriers to usage, such as aspirin content, sodium content, and taste. The marketing challenge uh, with Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula is to position the product as a whole new Alka-Seltzer that overcomes many of the traditional barriers to usage, uh, while not disenfranchising our core users who are very satisfied with the Alka-Seltzer uh, products that they are using currently. Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula is targeted towards users and non-users of Alka-Seltzer. We're targeting infrequent users of Alka-Seltzer. We're also targeting non-users of Alka-Seltzer, persons who use other products such as Tums, Rolaids, and Pepto-Bismol. We're also trying to bring new users into the category and into the Alka-Seltzer franchise. Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula does provide us with a new marketing opportunity. This opportunity is marketing to the healthcare professional. By overcoming the historical barriers to usage from the consumer standpoint, we now can go to the physician and pharmacist, seek their recommendation and endorsement with this new technical, technologically sound product called Advanced Formula. Advertising for Advanced Formula began on September 4th. It was the largest single product launch in the history of the Consumer Healthcare Division. Marketing support includes in-pack samples, freestanding inserts, direct mail samples, open stock displays, samples for pharmacists, trial size displays, and radio and television commercials. Formula Alka-Seltzer. Uh, I can't take Alka-Seltzer. This one's easy to take. It has We've adopted a uh, contemporized uh, package design for Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula because it helps to differentiate this new product from the rest of the line and cause it to stand out at the shelf as the new Alka-Seltzer. It all began in 1931 with Alka-Seltzer and continued with Alka-Seltzer Gold flavored Alka-Seltzer, extra strength Alka-Seltzer, and now Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula. Research and development, one of the keys to our future. And on August 1st, the Science and Technology Award winners for 1988 were recognized for their outstanding achievements. Let's meet the corporate award winners. The 1988 Corporate Technology Award went to Lonnie Sackman and James Maddox. Their fine work was in implementing aqueous film coating of vitamins. This allowed the manufacturing of a vitamin product with improved appearance and properties far superior to what had been done before. Lonnie Sackman is a senior associate research scientist. He works in the Consumer Health Care Division, Elkhart, Indiana. Lonnie has been with Miles 20 years. When I was told I won the award, I was very surprised. I received the notification at home and shared it with my wife. And uh, I did not, to be honest, I did not know I was up for the award. So to win it under those circumstances was quite a shock to me. A lifetime resident of Elkhart, Indiana, Lonnie feels that the technological part is his strongest contribution to his work. Lonnie spent two years on the vitamin coating project both in research and the final application phases. My work helps Miles in the fact that Miles needed to change to have the new technology, the aqueous film coating in place and operating. They needed to make this transition very swiftly. They needed to make, make this transition uh, so that the consumer would realize very little changes in the quality of the product because Miles is known for quality in their vitamins. Married to his lovely wife Sally, they have two children, Aaron and a daughter, Lauren Lynn. Besides his work, the other passion in Lonnie's life is tennis. Tennis and still more tennis. An A minus rated player, Lonnie has gathered an impressive armful of awards. Just recently, Lonnie has been transferred to the new products development group and the goals he has set for himself are, well, I, I wouldn't mind winning the technology award next year. <laughs> James Maddox is a plant project engineer in corporate engineering, Elkhart, Indiana. He shared in the technology award with Lonnie Sackman for contributions in aqueous film coating of vitamins. When I won this award, 
part was announced that I won this award. My stomach was in my throat. Cold sweat broke. I didn't know what to say, so I just kept quiet. Jim has been at Miles 31 years. His biggest challenge on the project was, as he put it, one of space. As project manager, Jim spent over one year solving the many engineering challenges that arose. I, I liked engineering, or I didn't know at the time it was called engineering, ever since I used to sneak into my grandfather's blacksmith shop. And engineering through the years, especially now, is specifically now, uh, is all high tech. And the higher the tech, to me, the more interesting that it is. This award is still a shock. I still don't talk about it much because I still feel embarrassed about it because there's so many people involved in this project that did just as much as I did, maybe more, or just as hard from, from the drafting area through the construction, through material procurement, through the whole, whole nine yards. Jim has been married 33 years to his wife, Doris. They have a son and a daughter, both of whom share Jim's love of engineering. Jim's hobbies include fishing, gardening, whittling, or as he calls it, wood butchering, and more fishing. Jim's 31 years of service to Miles and the smile he brings sums up the character of Jim Maddox. Miles has been my life. Anybody that has worked 31 years at a place can't say more. As for the future for GM, I'm just playing it day by day. The 1988 Corporate Science Award went to Dr. Sam Chan. His recognition was for characterization and relevance of R particles in viral safety of recombinant factor 8. Thanks to Dr. Chan's work and the dedication of others in the Factor 8 project, we are now in clinical trials around the world with our first recombinant DNA-derived product. Dr. Chan is a senior staff scientist at our facility in Berkeley, California. He has been with Miles almost eight years. Uh, this work uh, has helped the uh, recombinant Factor 8 pro project to come to fruition in terms of uh, being able to carry on the clinical trial because uh, with the development of this test then we can show to FDA that this product is safe and is free of these no, uh, unknown viral particles and is suitable for, is safe for human uh, injections. Dr. Chan was born in Hong Kong and distinguished himself there in the field of biology. This culminated with his doctorate degree in microbiology from the University of Notre Dame in 1978. This award means uh, that I am being recognized by the company and uh, my scientific achievement uh, is being recognized and I am very happy about and excited about receiving this award. Married to his charming wife Nancy, they have a son Eric who already has shown a strong interest in science. A very warm and sincere person, Dr. Chan's hobby is the fascinating world of close-up photography. Like his hobby, Dr. Chan is committed to excellence in his research. He currently is working on the second generation of his recombinant Factor 8 project. And it's this kind of commitment that will ensure a strong miles for the future. And in other news, our dental products business has successfully completed the move from St. Louis to South Bend. To honor this, a dedication of the new facility was held on October 10th. Dr. Klaus Rissa was the featured speaker. I am very pleased to be here today and to share this important occasion with you. The dedication today of our newly renovated dental manufacturing facility in South Bend adds an important, I would say even a very important dimension to the Miles and Bayer Healthcare presence here in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a great team with a modern new plant and with a supportive South Bend community. There are no limits to what you can achieve. Don, you have the opportunity to experience Hoosier hospitality as it best. Best wishes and good luck to all of you. 
Our consumer household division has three new products. All are part of our famous SOS line. The first is SOS Juniors, small and convenient. With SOS Juniors, you can use a fresh pad every day with no waste. And in 1990, two automotive products will be in test markets. SOS Tire Scrubbers and SOS Automotive Glass Cleaner. SOS Tire Scrubbers have an extra large size and a quick rinsing soap that makes tire scrubbing fast and easy. SOS Automotive Glass Cleaner has a new streak-free formula. This, along with concentrated vinegar and shine enhancers, makes it the most unique glass cleaner on the market. Our Diagnostics Division also has a new product, the Glucometer QA System, with new glucofilm test strips. This is a special meter that assures quality assurance in blood glucose testing on hospital wards by nurses. The new test strips use a revolutionary film technology that provide improved accuracy and precision of test results. In October, ground was broken for Phase 2 of the Miles Research Center in West Haven, Connecticut. Phase 2 will house 150 research scientists and support staff. It's scheduled for opening in early 1992. Our co HP product was launched in July in both the U.S. and Canada. This high-purity product is one of the most advanced forms of therapy for people with hemophilia and represents a significant advance in their treatment. Nemotop was launched in May, and our sales force reports that neurospecialists are enthusiastic about the product. This drug helps patients suffering from subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is the sudden bursting of an artery deep within the base of the brain. And in other news, Cipro continues to break records. We now expect 1989 sales to be over $240 million, a remarkable achievement and a record for a single product. 1989 has certainly been a year of growth, record-breaking sales and accomplishment, one we can all feel proud about. Well, that wraps up our final edition of 1989. I'm Jim Grulick for Miles Today.